All right, guys, we have our losers final match set up here for you today. Bra versus VBB. We're going to be seeing a Kaiser ban from Bra and an Alice ban from VBB. Sunset being the map that's been decided on. A uh, Cindy, Peter, and Ravi pick out of Bra. Their number one fallback when Alice is banned out. Definitely a very strong composition, even still. VBB, of course, going Witch Queen since it was not banned, Rapunzel, and Cindy. We'll have to see if the Witch Queen pick really makes that huge of a difference for them. I do believe it may. We'll have to see what they're able to do against Bra, a very dominant team here so far in this tournament. Let's go ahead and get the map selected, wait for the teams to ready up, and then we'll be getting straight on into this next match. Alright, it looks like we're going to be getting right on into game one here of Bra versus VBB. The loser's final match. Winner of this goes on to face Vehala in the grand finals. Loser of it will be eliminated from the tournament. We're getting down to the wire here now, everybody. Let's see what happens in this matchup earlier. VBB actually being the team to send Bra to the loser's bracket. This is a run back of a previous matchup from tonight. We'll have to see what adaptations were made uh, to go into this match here. Maybe Bra a little bit more awake now. Looks like they're getting a lot of damage actually onto VBB, but that Witch Queen rare ability just really kicking in there. But Bra able to find their way through and get the first claim. Melon Lord dying to the Witch Queen ultimate. Ownage caught by the bomb, it looked like. Going to be taking a lot of damage here. He may be able to hold just long enough for Melon Lord to get back and assist him on bleed. Able to get the first point halfway to their second. They may be able to take it. Both teams full health and opening engagement yet again. Bakery finding a lot of damage with that ultimate onto bleed and blue. Bleed getting put a little bit low, but Bakery almost dead. Vital eating a lot of damage after that ultimate. And Bleed and Vital in sync, able to get those kills. And Vital going for a potion here, trying to find damage onto Bakery. Bakery pulls that ultimate. Very good timing for him. Gets a little bit of damage, not enough though. His team not able to claim the objective just yet. Vital finally dropping to Ownage. Bleed now, unable to make anything happen there. Melon Lord finding the kill. And it does go back the way of Bra. Three points to one with two minutes left in the clock. Still plenty of time. Anything can happen, but we'll have to see. Vital, unfortunately, missing that ultimate. Does connect with Onage on the skill, though. Blue looking for an opportunity here. Needs to find damage. Finds it onto Bakery. Onage still with a lot of health, though. Vital finally making his way back after respawning. Able to reclaim the point for his team. Melon Lord pushing Vital all the way off of the objective. Blue, Bleed, both extremely low HP at this point. Blue dying to Bakery now. Uh, the Witch Queen rare ability once again kicking in and getting a double Polymorph. Bleed looking for some more damage. Pushes both Melon Lord and Onage off of the point. Able to claim it for his team again, but Bakery right there to take it immediately back. This point just juggling back and forth yet again. We've seen this a few times tonight. Onage going for a play there off to the side. Vital able to find the kill onto Onage. Blue finding a full push onto the enemy team to secure the point for his own. Two points to three now. Blue going for that reset. Not sure if that was the right timing. The point almost flipping the way of Bruh. Blue needs to get back in there now. The triple polymorph. Bleed finding a good combo there going out onto Melon Lord. But the point ending up flipping back the way of Bra. 35 seconds left on the clock now. Game is coming right down to the wire. Blue needs to stay alive to be able to contest this overtime while Vital comes back. Vital just barely not able to get there in time, but Bleed able to make up for it. 20 seconds left on the clock now. If they get the kills, they may be able to flip this point and turn it into a victory for themselves on time, but they are running out of time to do so. Vital needs to make a big play here. Finds a single polymorph. They do flip the point. Five seconds left on the clock. Vital walking off of the objective. Not sure what that was about, but does not matter. VBB able to take the first game from Bruh. All 
All right, VBB going up with the first game against Bruh in this loser's final match. All right. Like we were saying, their first game going to VBB. Bleed not quite sure what was going on with the score, but now that's clarified, we'll have to see if Bruh is wanting to make a map change or not. It looks like they are just readying up. We're going to be running right back on Sunset. Let's go ahead and get this game to started. Game two of VBB versus Bra. That Witch Queen rare definitely playing a huge part. Vital making a lot of work. Uh, a lot of things happen with it, the ultimate as well. We'll have to see the adaptations being made here from Bra to be able to put pressure onto that. All right, Blue taking a lot of damage early. The Bakery almost dead. Vital using his skill to completely wrong. The it appears like there's an issue with the match. This did happen within the first 20 seconds of the match, so a replay will be possible if requested. We'll have to figure out what exactly was going on here. Okay, so this match will actually be replayed. Uh, I was notified of vital lagging out and DCing from the match, so we will be uh, we will be replaying this game. All right, the match will be replayed. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this uh, settled here. Hold on just one moment real quick here. I'm just going to make sure that this is settled with everybody. All right, so we are going to be resetting that match. My apologies there to everybody. We will be getting this uh, reset and started up. All right, so the replay of game two. Let's see how this goes. All right, now that's all been taken care of. We'll be getting right back into game two here. Uh, the previous game obviously not counting as the uh, lag out. Like I said, was reported within the first 20 seconds, which is the ruling for it as the first. While they can be very impactful to the match, it, if it's any later than that, I cannot accept the reset. All right, Bakery and Melon Lord getting caught by the Witch Queen Rare. Witch going extremely low, but can be a good thing for Witch. Bleed not able to find the connection there, getting caught out and pushed off of the objective. Bra able to take the first claim. Bakery now doing some solo work on the objective. Blue. Okay, like, I'm not resetting a second game, though, like... So, hold on, sorry, because I'm going to have to get this. I need to copy something out of my rule set. So unfortunately, as the replay had already happened, they will be required to forfeit that match. Um, So I am just uh, letting everybody know what exactly is going on. All right, they will be forfeiting that match. The set is now one to one in favor of Bruh. All right, 
like just having to enforce the rule there make sure that everybody knows exactly what is going on looks like they are readying up for game three here let's go ahead and get right on into it very unfortunate this is happening to vital but unfortunately the rules were set early and I'm not able to make any exceptions in that regard. So we will have to see if uh, if the connection keeps being an issue for him or if he'll be able to overcome it. It does look like he's still having a couple of issues, but able to at least relatively play the game out. Blue looking for some damage. Blue looking for damage onto Bakery here. Bakery going extremely low. Vital looking for a kill onto Onich. Not able to find it though. Blue almost getting this kill onto Melon Lord. If they can pick up the kill on Melon Lord and Bakery here, they may be able to take control of the objective. Onage, the last team member of his team to contest. Bleed able to finally push Onage off, but it's a little bit too late, unfortunately. A lot of damage coming out of Bakery there onto Bleed and Blue. Vital now getting that Witch Queen rare, but a double kill coming out of Melon Lord. Bleed answering back with a kill onto Melon Lord, and now dueling with Bakery here, but Onage now here to defend with his team. Vital taking some damage from that Cindy ultimate. Bakery getting pushed off by Blue. Blue finding a hit onto Melon Lord. Bleed now looking for more damage that uh, Cindy ultimate putting in a lot of work there. Vital does seem to have disconnected again. However, the match will go 2-1 in favor of Bro. Unfortunately, Vital having too many issues with his connection. I am offering VBB the option to play with a bot, or they do have the option, of course, to forfeit if they would like. Okay, Blue opting to go to Peter, and it looks like they will uh, play it out with the bot. So 2-1 in the set favoring, bruh. Let's see what ends up happening here with, uh, with this bot. Unfortunately, uh, no no subins are allowed for tonight. All right, let's see what's able to happen here. They do get a Wolfgang bot. Wolfgang being a very aggressive bot, actually. Uh, we'll have to see what it's able to do here, working alongside Bleed and Blue. Probably one of the best bots they could have gotten in this situation. The only thing better maybe being something like a, a snow bot. Um, but they are actually able to claim the first objective here, so we'll have to see uh, what they're able to make of this. Unfortunately, not able to claim a physical, a full point here. Onage with a bomb onto Bleed, picking up that kill, assisted by Bakery. Uh, Blue now finding some damage onto Melon Lord. The bot as well finding damage onto Melon Lord. Finally getting dropped by Bakery. A little bit more aggression here. Bleed looking for opportunities onto Melon Lord. Not able to find a uh, full pickup or anything. Melon Lord, though, not able to find anything with that ultimate. Blue with a good knockback on Onage. The bot trying to make its way around the side of the map here. Unfortunately, dropping the Melon Lord. Seems like Bleed's having a little bit of trouble and unfortunately kicks right down into the raw. The ultimate blue getting knocked back by Melon Lord. Onage getting caught by the bot. Melon Lord getting pushed out by blue. But answering back with an ult of his own. Bleed now the only one left on his team to contest and unfortunately not able to stay inside of the objective. The set will fall 3-1 in the favor of Bruh. Bro, moving on to the loser side of Grand Finals. Let's go ahead and take a look on over at the bracket. 